Today we're talking about Trixie Cosmetics because this is my channel and not yours. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup Maria from Miami. Today we're talking Trixie Cosmetics holiday release sweet treats. Yes, I'm late. The holidays are over, but you know, that's life. Anyway, in case you didn't know, Trixie Mattel is a worldwide famous drag queen and she's often seen with uh, Katya and they are, in my opinion, the comedy duel of our time. They're hilarious. I fell in love with these ladies when I stumbled upon them, two queens who like to watch with um, Netflix shows and I fell down a rabbit hole. I started watching all their other content, including, uh, <laughs> which is where I got the teaser because they say we do whatever we want because this is our show and not yours. And that's what my teaser was about. Okay. Anyway, I have their book. <laughs> And I, uh, to my surprise, Trixie had a cosmetics line. So of course I had to try it out. And so that's what we're going to do today. But be forewarned, they're not for the faint of heart. So if you're easily offended, hunty, this is not for you. Okay, so I could not purchase the whole holiday package. Sweet treats. This is her, the cover. It comes in that, in that box right here. This is the back. I did purchase two out of the three eyeshadow palettes and one of the lip oils and her brushes. The brushes, unfortunately, are no longer available. She has other brushes, but not this particular bundle. First palette I purchased is Miss Sugar Cookie, and that's the blue one. And I'll do some swatches for you. Uh, the shadows don't have names per se but there they are. They're very, very soft. Are they not? So there they are. The second palette is Miss Gingerbread. It's a four pan shadow and I'll do some new swatches with my <laughs> left hand. Okay. Um, let's do this. They're really pretty. And made in China and they're they're affordable. I also purchased her gingerbread lip oil, which I have on top of another lipstick that I'll show you during the try-on. And then her brushes came in this great bag. So cute. I love it. And it comes with these brushes, one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. And they are very pretty, very, very, very soft and dense and um, nice. They seem very high quality. I heard Trixie say that she was most proud of her brushes, so that's why. I, did, and I, I purchased it. This particular bundle is not available, unfortunately, but she does still have other brushes on her website. Okay, so today I'm starting off with a uh, foundation, a little powder, a little bit of bronzer, my brows, eyeliner, and a little bit of mascara. Okay, so let's get started with her eyeshadow, the this Miss Gingerbread Four Pan Shadow Press Pigment Palette. So so beautiful gorgeous and we'll test one of her brushes this the packaging is everything so and they have a cute little mirror so and a little plastic which i'm gonna hold on to so let's see how this goes so i'm gonna start off with this color here which is a matte. Well, actually, maybe I should try the little orangey color first. Let me try the orangey color first, this one. Okay. So let's put that on the lid. Wow, pigmentation, definitely. Okay. Wow, very nice. So I'm gonna go up a little bit. 
whoa definitely pigmentation so on the I'm gonna flip the side flip it on the other side and go into the brown color tap it off and nice okay Wow definitely pigmented so I'm gonna have to flip it over and use the other side to blend it in a little bit there you go oh blendable very nice okay I'm I'm feeling this this is very nice okay the other palette is in blue um, this one's called the sugar cookie <laughs> And this is the brush that I'm gonna. I'm a little apprehensive because I saw Teresa's Dead's review and she had trouble with the, the blue, so I'm gonna go very, very lightly. I'm gonna just tap on this light blue and go with a very light hand here. Nope, not, not happening. So let's try again. Okay, it's definitely not as pigmented. Well, it is pigmented, it's just you have to work at it a little bit harder. That's actually really pretty. Okay, go up a little bit there, just like I did with the gingerbread palette. That's pretty. Okay, so let me try the darker blue, and again, I'm gonna flip it. Flip the brush on the other side. Uh oh, pigmented. I'm gonna start a bit. Nope, not getting the color payoff. Again, gonna have to try again. All right, that's better. That's not bad. That's not bad, and just flip it over. To the other side to blend it in. Okay, that's working. So let's see, see how this goes. Underneath. Let's try it a little bit on this side too. The brush is extremely, extremely soft. Like really comfortable. I like it. I think the blue needs a little something. Let's try this pink color, I think maybe with my finger. Put it right in the center. And blend it in, definitely. Go a little bit. That's pretty. It looks a little pinky purpley, but I'm feeling it. I like it. So let me try the shimmer on this one. Pretty. Okay. This is so nice. And they're really, they're weighty. They have, they feel like they're good quality brushes. They have her logo. Oh, this one's an H21. Okay, this one has a number. So, H21. And I'm gonna go in with my Gucci blush in the color Bright Coral. Okay.
I'm not feeling that. I think maybe this was supposed to be more of a powder, all over powder brush. Okay. All right, now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I think with this one, it's more of a padding. Very nice. The brushes are really cute. Really nice, really soft. They work well. Now let's try the lip oil. Okay, this one is gingerbread cookie. Okay. It does smell like gingerbread cookie, love. Gorgeous. I love the color and it feels extremely moisturizing. I'm not sure about this Bendy applicator. I don't know if I'm a fan. But the product is so, so nice. It feels great. I haven't used that many lip oils, but this one definitely feels more moisturizing than the ones that I have tried. Cute. Finish up some of my makeup and I'll give you my impression. I forgot I have one more brush that I wanted to try. This is number H19, and it's like a, maybe a concealer brush or maybe a highlighter brush. And so I have the new Rare Beauty highlighter, which I'm going to, I'm trying out. So I'll try it out with this brush. And this isn't the right color for me. So it's really more of a blush topper than a highlighter for me, for my skin color. Okay. I love this brush. It's very nice. I don't think the color <laughs> works with the Gucci brush. I don't think it, I think it may even be more of like a bronzer than a blush topper because of the color but the brush is great this is in the color flaunt by the way and as you see as you can tell it's a beautiful product it's very smooth it looks more like a liquid than a powder um, but the color is not quite right for this blush as a blush topper. It looks almost like a bronzy blush, but it, they're both good. I also want to try out this new Tom Ford lipstick that I got for Christmas in the color Flame. A bright red. It's just beautiful. It looks very orangey on camera, but I think it in person it's more red. So let's try this out. Not the best application. But the color is gorgeous. Okay, so my first impression of the products are that you can't go wrong with the gingerbread palette. It is just beautiful, beautiful colors, blends out really well. It's a nice neutral. I love a little palette and I, li I love a neutral look. So it's perf perfect for day to day. So definitely run, don't walk there. Um, the blue one is, is nice as well, the sugar cookie one, but I think that it's a little bit more difficult to blend. So I don't, I don't know if I would repurchase that one, but if you're a blue fan and, and you're willing to work a little bit to get the color payoff that you want and the blendability, then I would recommend it. The lip oil was a big surprise. It is extremely nourishing, a really pretty color, 
and I'm wearing it on top of another lipstick, a, a Tom Ford, the Tom Ford lipstick that I put on during the try on. And it looks nice and I, I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. The brushes were also a big surprise. They are gorgeous, super, super soft. They blend the product well. Um, they are nice and dense and I think they're worth it. I, I would imagine, even though this isn't available, that, that her other brushes on her website are comparable, so I would check it out if you're interested, if you are looking for a new set of brushes. That's it, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it very much. I hope the holidays weren't too hard on you. I wear sunscreen and fight for our reproductive rights. Peace. I know you could Peace. come over, but I wish you would stay. Peace. Hey! <laughs>